What's up, YouTubers? It's me again, Brian, aka Gamer55551. And I am back for a video game review. And for today, we are going to be looking at, if I'm saying the name correctly, Near Automoda. I, again, apologize if I'm not saying it correctly. For the PlayStation 4. I believe it's also on PC as well, though. Um, now, Platinum Games, one of my favorite video game developers, third-party developers, Platinum Games, has kind of had a bit of a rough time last year, and so far early in 2017, in January, though. Um, the developers that made some of the, some of the funnest action games out there, like Vanquish, Mad World, um, Bayonetta and Bayonetta 2, thank you Nintendo for funding that game, I really appreciate it. Hopefully you could bring both those games to Nintendo Switch and also do a third one though. Um, and the wonderful 101. Um, and they have developed, they have earned a reputation of doing a lot of solid, fun action games though. However, last year was kind of sort of rough for them though. Um, their first game, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Manhattan, unfortunately did not perform w well as many had hoped for. I heard they sort of pulled that off like the PlayStation Store or something like that. And some of the criticisms was some of the missions too. Basically, it was running at 30, fr 30 frames per second compared to what Platinum is known for to run games at 60 frames per second. Uh, Star Fox Zero, a game I did a review of though, um, um, had that platinum feel to it, but to me, the thing that held that game back, obviously, was the motion control. The force motion controls, which I really felt was unnecessary, and I think they should have had the options of a traditional control scheme for it. And unfortunately, that did not perform as well, either. And of course, earlier this year, we also had, basically, um... We also had Scalebound and Xbox One exclusive got cancelled as well. So hopefully that game will see the light of the day, whether it comes to Scorpio or whether another a different develop publisher picks up buys the rights from Microsoft or so on. Who knows? But hopefully that game will we'll see hopefully we'll see that game soon. I certainly hope so. Um, so it was not a great year for Platinum, though, but I will say, and it kind of gave off that bit of, did they lose their mojo and all that stuff? I don't know if anyone said that, but that was my thought about it. But I will say that despite a rough 2016 and a rough um, January 2017, I will say Near Automotive definitely brings back that feel from the Platinum that is known for, though. Now, this is a series, I've heard bits of it, but I never played the first one, though, so I got it, got around to playing this, and I will say, after investing several hours into the game, I will I will say, it, it does bring back that platinum feel that was lacking last year, though, and for those who may have missed, for those who've never played the first one, it's still worth, it, it's definitely worth a try, though, so... Now that I got that out of the way, we'll get started with the pros and cons for Near Automotive. We'll start first with the pros, and I will say, solid gameplay mechanics, though. That, I've said this, I, I know I've maybe been the dead horse from saying this, though, but that, one of the trademarks of Platinum Games is over-the-top, fast-paced action games where not only forming combos, but focusing also on dodge dodging as well, especially timing it at the right moment to do a counter to do a counter attack. Like for example, with Bayonetta 2 or, and Bayonetta in general, if you dodge an enemy's attack at the last minute, you can go, you know, in which time to do extra damage though, that is still there. And I love it though. I mean, it maintains that platinum feel and Plat what Platinum is known for, for its fast-paced action, and Nier Automotive definitely delivers that in, in this game, though. Uh, the next one, of course, is the story, though. I mean, I will admit the story is a little bit strange in this game, though, but it definitely delivers, though. It has cooked has kept me hooked and interesting you know this android 2b and her part and her partner 9s if i'm saying the name correctly though um exploring the world in ruins after an alien invasion after a robotic alien invasion in particular so 
it definitely it's an odd story though but it definitely has its charm and it definitely is something that's kept me hooked maybe not on the same level as horizon or breath of the wild but still a good story nevertheless though and last but not least though i will say the soundtrack i definitely love the music in the game especially in some parts where you just hear the piano to hear some of the choirs when you get into the later levels though but overall i will say in terms of soundtrack and music that's definitely a high point for this game though all right um we're going to take a bit of a break and when we come back i will get to part two which are the cons and i only have really two cons for this game based on my time with it though so we'll take a bit of a break and we will be right back Okay, and we are back with part two of our review. Um, before I get to the second part, I forgot to mention, uh, for those who are interested in any of the gameplay footage of me playing um, Near Automotive, again, if I'm saying the name wrong, I apologize though. Um, I'll have a link in the description, um, both the gameplay footage and the gameplay footage from the demo version when that came out though. So if you wanna check those out, um, again, Link will be in the description or I'll have it up in one of the cards though. All right, so now that we got the pros out of the way, why don't we get started with the cons? And there were only really two cons based on my time playing the game though. And the two are, the first one would be basically is the visuals. What, they're kind of, for me though, they're kind of a hit and a miss. Um, now, the character models I think look great. I think 2B looks great, the enemy design looks good. But visually speaking, and I know I'll probably be criticized for saying this though, compared to say to Horizon Zero Dawn and uh, or Breath of the Wild or anything like that, um, it, it, they're not exactly great. I mean, character, like I said, character design wise, it doesn't look terrible, but it just feels, it doesn't look doesn't look as impressive and um, but again that's to one's taste though um the character designs more than makes up for that though but overall visually speaking the game's kind of a hit and miss for me though and finally last but not least though while the game is open world technically speaking um compared to say other open world games though it's not not anywhere near the level as say you know a game like Saints Row or GTA or Zelda Breath of the Wild is where that game you could pretty you could pretty much go at anywhere you want to though or Horizon Zero Dawn for that matter so it, it does and I will say the open world kind of feels a little bit uh deserted though I mean that's not necessarily terrible it's not necessarily make the game bad or anything but compared to the other open world games I mentioned though it's not exactly at the same level, though, right? I mean, you do have submissions, you know, side quests and so on to go, you know, to other places, though. And while it can be a bit, while it can be a little bit annoying going from one place to another, though, I mean, luckily, you do have the option to have I mean, to, to be run incredibly fast. So it kind of cuts down the time a little bit. So, but overall, open world wise, not nearly as the other open world games that I do mention though. Uh, another complaint, a minor one, and this is sort of, I just find this a bit odd that basically your weapons can destroy the robots very easily, but when it comes to taking down some of the animals in the game, like a moose and a boar, they take they take longer to take down than your than the robotic enemies, and I just think that's a bit odd. Again, not a con, just a little, odd thing that they have that in the game though um overall near automotive is a solid action game in my opinion though and it brings back and it definitely has that platinum feel that's really good though all right um it might be the series might be new to some people who never played the first one i'll be honest with you i never did however but for those who are looking for a solid action game or want to play a solid good platinum game for 2017 then this is definitely the one you should pick up though all right it, it is a niche series but even if you never played the ps3 version though though you don't have to i don't see any connection between the story i haven't gotten that far though but overall definitely a high recommendation for action fans like me and fans of platinum games though um 
Okay, uh, before I end this video, I do want to talk about one of the controversy that kind of appeared with this game, and it had to do, often referred to as sort of the butt controversy, and that has to do with um, two P's, well, you know, bottom, and how some people were a bit upset about the character design, and I think some of the response he's ma made was that he likes, you know, likes cute women and all that stuff. Um, I will say, though, that I really don't see it as a big issue, okay? I know, I, I'm aware, I know, now I said this before with the Serene Kagura review, I said this with Galgun, and I'll say this here though. I'm gonna say it and apply this though. I am pro-choice. I believe an abortion should and always be a woman's right to choose, even if a woman chooses not to get one. Um, no woman should ever be prevented from getting an abortion, nor should any woman be forced to get one though. I do not believe women should be treated as second-class citizens, though. I do not believe women should be forced to stay at home, okay? It's one thing if a woman chooses to stay at home, be a stay-at-home mom, but a woman should never be forced to stay at home in any way. And I do believe in some SJW cause. Despite that, though, I don't have any issue with 2B or any of the character designs, the designs of the female, uh, the way they portray female characters. And I don't think 2B was portrayed in, in, in any negative way, though. While I agree there is always, while I agree there is an issue, or while I agree that there is an open debate over the portrayment of women in video games, I just don't think, um, I just don't think the way 2, 2B is portrayed, I don't see that as a negative life, in, in a negative light, however. I mean, to me, I think she's a strong female character, and I think that's a good thing, though, okay? I mean, and for record, it's fan service, though, okay? So this isn't nothing new here, but bottom line is, you can still be pro-choice and pro-women and still enjoy a game like this, and I have no issue playing with it. And you know what? It's the developer's decisions. They can decide how they want to develop the game and so on. And and consumers ultimately can make the decision on whether or not they agree with this decision or not. It's their call, but it's also the developer's game as well. And so bottom line is, yes, I do believe in some SJW causes. Yes, I do believe in women's rights and so on, but I don't have an issue playing a game like this or Serene Kagura, or Galgun, or even Dead or Alive as well. Okay, um, this concludes my review of Near Automotive. Um, again, I apologize if I'm not saying the name correctly, so it's sort of my speech thing, so apologize for that. And again, these are my opinion, but what are yours? Um, have you picked up the game yet? Have, are you enjoying it? Are you not enjoying it, Does? join it however does it have that platinum feel that yeah i mean does it have that feel that platinum feel to it or you're not feeling it in any way do you agree with my review do you disagree do you have a different take um as always sound off on the comment section below let me know what you think and i hope you hit that like button though and i hope you do subscribe to my youtube channel um feel free to share this video if you want to also if you want to, feel free to donate to my channel if you like. You could do it through PayPal Me, or you could do it through Patreon, though. I'll have a link in the description of this video. Um, anyway, um, this concludes my video review of Near Automotive. Again, apologize if I'm saying the name wrong, though. And I will see you again next time when I do another video review. Hopefully that will be soon. Until then, from Southern California, I wish you all a good day. Bye.